Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to Europe's top Chinese fighter, Kai Lu. Kai, very nice to meet you for the first time. You're going to be in the main event at a Slovakian promotion, RFA, up against a Polish opponent, 4-1. Uh, it's really good to see you for the first time. You've trained at the UFC Academy in Shanghai, I believe. Could you give us a little bit about your background? How did you get into MMA? You're from a judo background, right? Yes, I was training judo for 12 years. And uh, I was in the Shanghai team uh, to the China team. And, and uh, 2018, I transferred to MMA because I think because you know the judo is in the, uh, it's an Olympic game, but uh, we can earn more money in the judo. So I think MMA is a good sport for um, good money. So I knew the UFC. I love it because it's uh, the famous one. So I I said, oh, okay, I want to go there. It's uh, it can earn money and it can be famous, and like I'm gonna take care of my family. I saw an interview you did last year and it was interesting to see that uh, people kind of said, why do you want to do MMA? MMA is dangerous. And you said that maybe you were a little bit scared in the early days. Is that fear yeah, still yeah. there? Or, or do you feel more comfortable now? Does the fear ever go away? Um, for now, I think it's not dangerous. Uh, I think it's about uh, uh, we'll get into this e uh, event you know more about it because you can see more people is doing it. Uh, maybe they, they get locked out, but uh, maybe after one day, they are fine. Uh, when I was in the judo, I watched I watch the video, I watched the TV or on the internet, uh, internet. I saw everybody get locked out. I thought, oh, maybe this guy dead. So now I, I, uh, I know this sports, so I know, oh, I have some friends, they got to go out and uh, retreat with me. And uh, yeah, so I think, uh, so now for me, it's not, I'm not scared. But, but uh, actually when I have fight, I'm uh, nervous, very nervous. <laughs> How did you end up at the UFC Performance Institute and what, what's things like over there? I know you're in, you're in Eastern Europe right now, but what, what was it like training at the Performance Institute and do you intend to go back there? Um, I want to go back because they have a good system. Uh, but now you know the virus virus is uh, getting serious, and uh, it's hard to go back. But but I think in there they have a good system. They have a nutritionist. They have a SNC coach. They have a head coach, and the uh, canteen. They take care of, of us for everything. Um, but I think one thing is uh, we don't have uh, more free time because everything is in schedule. Yeah. Yeah. But now I'm in Czech uh, in Europe. Um, in the in in Czech, Czech people is nice to me. They give me a lot of hope. Uh, they give me the fights. Um, yeah. But I I want to go back when I have uh, when the virus is getting better. So how important is this win to you in terms of reaching your goal of reaching the UFC? Is it correct to say that your record right now is six and three? Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think this one, um, I think I have to win this one because I lost last, last, uh, lost last fight. Uh, but I think um, the last fight I lost is not about my level. I think I need more experience. The my opponent, uh, he had a uh, more experience. Uh, he's uh, he did well last time, and uh, now I think this one is important because I needed two strikes or three strikes, and I can have the chance to deny contender. Uh, yeah, deny show. So I I want to have a three two or three fights in, in, the, in Czech and the to win. Is that the plan? Have you discussed this with your management? Get maybe three more wins and then hopefully the UFC after that? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it for you being signed to Paradigm? Because Paradigm seem to have signed all the best Chinese fighters. Do you think that means that they see something in you, that, that maybe they see that star potential in you? Um, I think I have more strength because it, because when I was doing uh, when I was doing MMA, I I wanted to sign this uh, this manage uh, manage company because my wife helped me to check uh, this company is one of the best. So I think. Uh, I think have a uh, stress on me because it's the one of the best. Um, but I think, but I think I can do it well because uh, because I won national uh, national championship in judo. So I think if I can do one sport well, I can do the other one because you know you have a uh, high level in one sport. It means you have a big heart. You have a uh, Good strategy, you are smart. So I think have stress, but it makes me um, more better. How big is your self belief? How far do you think you can go in MMA? Um, in fact, in fact, um, I uh, I don't want to how how good I want to do, but now I want to step. Uh, by step, because now my first target is going to Uf uh, UFC. It's the first step. And uh, I can go to uh, top 10, top five, and, and the, the champ championsh and championship. Um, but, but I think I have a good mind. Um, because, because, you know, I'm a, a judo, judo guy. Uh, judoka, uh, but I I am good at wrestling. I'm good at the BJJ, and now I focus on my boxing and kickboxing because I don't want to like somebody just uh, he's a wrestler, but he just he just don't train the uh, boxing or kickboxing because he just want to depend on his uh, uh, wrestling. But one day when you see someone uh, in the cage and the, he uh, he is also a good wrestler, and you can't take him down. But he's a better. He has a. Uh, he's a good striker than you. And uh, how can you win the fight? So I want I want to be a complex fighter. So now I focus on my boxing and kickboxing, and uh, still once or twice, uh, train my, um, uh, wrestling because I want to improve it and my BJJ and uh, put them together. So I think I can, I can go top. There's been some famous judokas uh, in the UFC, especially from Japan. And then you, you've had people like Ronda Rousey as well, who did fantastically yeah. well with her judo. Who did you look up to when you were growing up? Did you have any idols in the UFC? Uh, uh, in fact, in fact, in, if I can know, but I like some uh, UFC champions like uh, uh, Alisaya, uh, Usman, uh, Conor McGregor, Khabib. I, I like, uh, like them because they have a uh, good technique. They don't like somebody just uh, know how to fight. I think they are very smart. A uh, lot like, uh, yeah, yeah, they are very smart and good technique. If you could compare your style to a, a famous UFC fighter, is there a style that has got similar to you who's already in the UFC, do you think? Mm, sorry? Is there a fighter in the UFC, do you think, who's got a similar style to you? If you were to compare your style to, to a famous fighter in the UFC, would you compare mm. your style to anybody? Mm. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know this one <laughs> because I, because I think this um, yeah I think this one um I think that this is about the somebody tell me uh, about my style because I think I, I just want to do my uh, own style. I don't want to 
and learn from anybody. I just have one, my own style. I don't want to, yeah, yeah. Which Chinese fighter are you most proud of right now in the UFC? Um, Li Jingliang. Uh, yeah, he's uh, elite. He's our yeah, Li. Yeah, he's our big uh, big brother, and uh, a good fighter, very tough guy. Uh, and uh, we met in the UFC economy, um, and and a very nice guy. Yeah. So what's the goal for 2022 for you? What's your biggest ambition this year? Yeah, yeah. This, this year, I think it's very important for me because, uh, you know, I have a new baby. So Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so I want to have more fights, get more experience, and uh, I, I hope the UFC can give me the uh, opportunity uh, I hope this year I can get into UFC. I want to shoot to the world uh, what I can do, the Chinese fighter. And I want to show them the Chinese fighter is not only know how to fight. I want to let them know I speak English. <laughs> because you know, in China, the fighter, uh, fighters, they don't uh, speak English. So I, I want to be that one. And now I'm learning the che uh, Czech language. So I want to be one good Chinese fighter and uh, a good speaker. I think that's so important, right? The, the whole package. Uh, and I think that's attractive to the UFC. Are you conscious of uh, the post-fight interview? You know, do you want to do something entertaining? Do you want to make the most of those moments? If you win the fight, you know, calling people out, would you, are you interested in that side of the game? <laughs> Mm, I, um, I think I, 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 it, uh, I don't like it. I think I don't like it. I just want to, I just want to do my job well. I just, I just train hard, go to cage, win the fight, and uh, yeah. Well, we're going to be watching. We're going to be watching closely. I wish you all the very best. Congratulations on the baby. And uh, Shishini, thank, thank you. you for the interview. I appreciate yeah, it. And good luck on the mission.